All right, my name is Luca Hine, and I am what's known as a detransitioner. I am someone who went through the gender-affirming care model as a teenager. Um, during that time, it was a really dark period of my life, and due to both trauma and normal teenage angst, I had become very disassociated from my body. Uh, and that led to me identifying as trans, and that was affirmed by doctors with the first medical intervention I had being a double mastectomy at the age of 16, and then being put on hormones. Uh, at 20 years old, I detransitioned, and now I talk about the gender-affirming care process from both my experience and the kind of ethics around that. <laughs> my biggest betrayal with this whole system, and something I reflect on a lot, is the fact of what kind of movement, what kind of adults do you have to be to when a young person comes to you and they are telling you that every single thing about them is wrong down to their physical, like their very physical being, what kind of adult do you have to be to agree with them and say, yes, everything about you is wrong and we're gonna change every single thing about you to fix that. Um, because my experiences didn't happen in a vacuum. There was an entire system that led up and failed at every single step to get to the point where I'm at now. And while everyone in that system bears some responsibility from me to my parents to any adult involved, the most responsibility lies at the feet of the doctors who took an oath to do no harm and took an oath to practice, practice ethical medicine and that did not happen. The most common thing I hear a lot is, oh, well, that's just your experience. Um, but my experience didn't happen in a vacuum. It happened because an entire system failed at every single point. And when people come out of a system and they are hurt and they are broken and their health is destroyed, that's something that should be taken very, very seriously. When an entire system is built on the lie that it is possible to somehow be born wrong, and we are telling our most vulnerable youth that, that is a system that maybe needs to collapse. You can't be born wrong. You are your body. And from there, that is just your building block in reality, and anything else you choose to do is up to you.